time. It's that time. It's the time we've been waiting for. It's that time. You know what I mean? It's time to learn Avada Kedavra. Sebastian has gone too I'm so far. ready. I'm you so saw ready. what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. Yeah? I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. It's my fault. I was wrong. I thought he'd stop. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Sebastian Look, must bro. not be in his right mind. Look, bro, I'm gonna tell you this. You a whole whole ass bitch, you heard me? You a like a fuck boy. You a fuck ass dude, bro. And I'm not turning on my homie Sebastian. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Oh, so the whole ass dude wanna come with me, huh? Huh. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead. In the great room. this many in theory before well oh, there is now Let's 
He's just gonna keep coming, bro. It reminds me of the battle arena, which I've completed like four times to level up off off uh, off cam. You know what I mean? Bitch. Bitch. I love that. Picking that stuff up and throwing it. I love it so much, bro. Do they just keep coming, bro? I mean, that's what it seemed like. Knock this dude into the whole other room, bro. so worried about Sebastian I didn't even realize Anne's gone to get Solomon when she first saw the inferi she thought Sebastian was being attacked but then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it the carvings on the relic were inferi oh why Sebastian they gotta bring him here bro not exactly he... he's controlling them oh he's just gonna make shit this worse powerful dark magic creating inferi is incredibly difficult but controlling them as Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. Oh, damn. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Hmm. It's, this has just became so much drama just to learn this damn spell, bro. Revelio. Everybody gonna leave me. What actually hurts these things, bro? Anything? Nothing that I could find. Sebastian. You be anywhere, bro. There he is. Well, let me Akio. Let 
Guardium Leviosa. But one enough that wants me to build them all, does it? Accio. What the hell? Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. Surrounded by some Isn't damn this bro. Incredible. Sebastian, I told you. The relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the inferi. Control? I had to fight the inferi all the way. What have the two of you done? This motherfucker, bro. Well, clearly it did work. Um, pay for this. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta battle this fucking dude, bro. Yeah, bitch. Now what? I'll fuck this dude's uncle up, bro. I think I knocked dude into the next room. Oh wait, he's over there now? You fuck ass dude. I'm a mama I'll use that dark magic on him. Hey Solomon, you ain't shoot against me, bro. Me and Sebastian fucking you up, bro. Ugh. Where's he at? I'm gonna hit him with some ancient magic, bro. Son. That dude's like getting fucked up, bro. Bombarder. There he goes. Defender. Mr. Salo. Stop. Here he 
<laughs> Dude is not having a good time, bro. Let me tell you. You talking about sorry, it had to be done. That's what I'm gonna say when I murk your ass, son. I'm gonna be like, sorry, had to be done. One of these is almost dead. Oh, he's almost done, though, bro. He's done, though. Look, I'm gonna go curse his ass him again. Sit your ass down, bro. Ass, finally finally damn she going she going hard in the paint right now bruh All right, get up and teach me that, bro. <laughs> I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Sebastian, wait. Bro, why I'd be more invested in this little side quest than the main quest, though? And it's been a good one. This the homie, though, bro. Like, this the main homie. Stop, Sebastian. Hold on. I remember my first day of school when I whipped his ass in that dueling match. And now look at us. He was the op, bro. And now he's the homie. We slid on, we slid on ops together, bro. We went on drills. He ain't snitch on your boy. What is it? Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away. Inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. He gave up on her. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I... I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it... 
He did attack us. You had no choice. It was brave, Sebastian. You clearly care more about Anne than your uncle ever did. I yeah, right. knew you'd understand. He caught a body. That's my homie, right bro. You did. I would have done the same. If I knew how. I could teach you. No time like the present. The killing curse won't be easy to master. Oh, bro. As with all unforgivables, you have to mean it. Here we go. Measure one steady. Focus. This is the this incantation is... is Avada Kedavra. Your intention must be clear. Here we go, bro. Ain't no turning back. Ain't no turning back. Ooh, wee. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian, please. I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft, all right? I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the Keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. Here we go. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragpaw's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Isadora told Bragbor about the magic when she asked him to build a container for her. I've seen her memories. Isadora left memories I for someone to find? <laughs> you know <laughs> what she did? Her memories showed what she did for her father. Oh, shit. I also saw in Professor Rookwood's pensive. And a conversation with Bragbor in which she expressed frustration about the limits being placed on her use of ancient magic. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Okay. Ooh. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils. Whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Perhaps then you can tell me a little more about the memories of Isadora that you witnessed. Back in you go. Revelio. I've always said that you're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Bombarder! Defender! Revelio! This place could do with a bit of pruning. Incendio! Is that a... It is! I believe I know what must be done. D 
Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. Grap horn is a beast I, I don't own yet. The last of a long it's one of the two, of that and a phoenix, bro. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. It's all about having a keen eye. Take me, for instance. My eyes as keen as a missile. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. This must be the place. Must be. Bro, so the beast I'm after, did he kill this thing or is that him? Jesus Christ. Hmm. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. I'm a hide. Uh, so that's probably his skeleton or something he killed, yes. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, so wait, I have to defeat this fucking thing? And I can't use dark magic. I want to let him run into shit. My dark magic, bro. Uh, son.
Oh shit. He's pissed. He is pissed. This homie. Damn. Sit down, bro. I need to attack this motherfucker. He need to know I ain't scared of his bitch ass. He need to kneel before me. To help me. I am a worthy adversary. Okay. I'm fucking liable to eat me. I kneel before him, bro. He need to kneel before me. Damn, bro. It's like riding a monster truck. Damn. It's like a It's like a Dodge Ram, bro. I ain't got no time to fight, yo. Yeah, I'll get you guys. I'll get you guys on the way back. Fucking riding the Lord of the Shore, baby. I think I killed one of them. <laughs> it's like hitting barricades when you're wanted on GTA or something, bro. Crossing that bridge, whether you like it or not. We, we had plans for that even if you stole. Y'all lucky I ain't off this thing, bro. I'd hit you with that Avada Kedavra, and it'd be over with. Time for you all to clear out. No need to race for it. Where's that goblin hell? 
little thief. Look what that does. Yeah, buddy. I think we killed those things. I got the the sword lord, baby. Yeah. Look, that's you, bro. That's you. You see that?